So you didn't like that Paul Mooney joke that said white people love you because you make Bryant Gumbel look like Malcolm X. Yes. How does it make you feel to be a beloved black man in white America? It's great. Because the, because the flip side of that is, is why can't you be mm. beloved in white America, in black America, in Latin America? I don't change who Wayne is to make white America like me. Mm. Congratulations, that was funky. Right on, right on. If you have an, a, a thing in you that you need to get out, why wouldn't you want as many people as possible to love that thing? So that's why I took offense, took umbrage with Paul's thing, because the way he made it sound, I would be the kind of person that would change who I am to make white people love me. So why do you think people named Jarrett and Tinsley gravitate towards you? <laughs> um, because they lack father figures. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't even know, know what it Let's means. Let's unpack that. Yeah, I, I think Jared, um, Dales, mm. Kyles, I, I think they're all looking for the black father figure in their life. Yep. Wow. I'm not backing down. You're gonna stick with that one? Tinsley, Kyle, Jared, Jake. <sighs> black Daddy loves you. So you won The Masked Singer as The Fox in 2019. What do you think mainstream America feels more comfortable with? A black man in a fedora or a black man in animal cosplay? Uh, definitely a black man in animal cosplay. It's like when I was a kid, I was a character at Walt Disney World. I played oh, yeah. Tigger and Goofy, and rednecks would take their kids and shove them in my arms. Tigger, oh my God. go ahead. And you say was... Tigger, you say it with the hard R. Yeah, Tigger. Tigger, because if they knew that Tigger was a Tigger. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> now wait, you sing, you dance, and you do comedy. Are you doing too much or is everyone else not doing enough? Everyone else is not doing enough. Mediocrity is not the goal. That's not the household that I was raised in. Mm, your parents are from the West Indies, you yes. mentioned. What's wild is that you talked about how you were bullied for your accent, but in my head you, have, you speak like the queen. What is your original like OG Florida accent? Well, because I was raised in that household, and everybody had this accent and talk about mother, I don't understand, I don't know. Oh, wow. Which in my neighborhood, there was a whole thing that we could go back to like, like the 80s when there was an influx of Jamaicans to Florida and then the people that were there were like, you're on my turf. So when I would go to school and I'd say something, the other kids were like, ah, little bitch sound, sound Jamaican. Wow. And, and I'd say, I'm not Jamaican. They'd say, you're, you're not, not Jamaican. Jamaican. Oh and then we'd God. get into fights and the whole thing and now I'm on TV. Wow. We unpacked a lot in 10 <laughs> Thank seconds. You. That's an amazing therapy session. Thank you, doctor. Would you like to apologize to Chet Hanks for appropriating his accent? Uh, Chet, on behalf of the people, me want thank you, Chet. Me want thank you. On your children's album, Radio Wayne, you have a song called Hip Hop Stop. Hip Hop, now show me your hands. Hip Hop Stop. Why would you like hip hop to stop? <laughs> I never want hip hop to stop. Mm. I've been a hip hop fan since I was maybe eight years old. Okay, so hip hop don't stop. Do you still listen to rap music? Absolutely. Who's your favorite modern like rapper? Oh, I was afraid you're gonna ask me that of all the questions. Because this is where <laughs> I sound like, like an angry old head, yes. as the kids say. Yes, Black Daddy. Because Black Daddy doesn't like a lot of current hip hop. What does Black Daddy like? Black Daddy likes hip hop that I could dance to, but that is actually saying something. I, we deal in words, I love words. Yes, you love words. I love words. Yes. So, I don't like, huh. You got never find you, you will never, whoa! Donkey, no, 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 nuts, my mouth, it's a sand of butt, balls. I don't like that. Wow. I don't like that at all. Wow, and you prefer? I went to the school to get the bus. Because you never know what I'm gonna do. I say hip hop stop to you. No, I love freestyle, I love Kendrick. I love people that have something to say. Chance, chance the Rapper, Chance you the Rapper. You love Jesus in your music, I got it. I love, who doesn't like, like a little Jesus in their music? Mary f kill, black, African American, or the N-word? Mary black, African American, I guess and kill the N-word. Wow, why would you kill the N-word? Because I love the fact, and my daughter and I talk about how beautifully it actually sings. Like, it's a very musical word, but all it takes is one guy named Jarrett at a concert. Hip hop, now show me your hands. Hip hop, stop. 
and he bends the A into an R, and it takes us back 500 years. So I don't agree with the argument of, it's just a word. No, there's blood all over that word. So wow. keep it out your mouth. Wow. 